Today I'm making a chicken burrito bowl for dinner. This is going to be good. Okay, so today I'm going to be using two different recipes out of my cookbook. I'm going to use the marinade for my stovetop, uh, stovetop carne asada. I'll be using chicken today. And I'm going to make my zesty cilantro uh, lime rice. I'm going to be doing this like chicken fajita or carne asada burrito bowl. So for the recipe for the marinade, I'm going with a half cup of um, soy sauce, light soy sauce. I'm going to add some pepper, smoked paprika, onion powder. If you hear background noise, that's just life happening in my house. <laughs> Here I'm going with my garlic powder. I'm also going to go with some sugar. Add a teaspoon, mm, teaspoon, yeah, teaspoon. Quarter cup of lime juice and a quarter cup of orange, fresh squeezed orange juice. I'm just gonna get what I can out of this. Okay, I'm gonna use, I'm using like these little cutie oranges or these small little, so I'm gonna use a couple of them. Ooh. Let's put that there. Now I'm just going to mix this. I already have my two pounds of chicken breast and I just scored them. Um, and I'm just going to pour this marinade right on top. Just like that. And this is going to, uh, I'm just gonna let these uh, set in the refrigerator for about at least 30 minutes. I'm gonna go for like an hour, an hour and a half. And I'm gonna cover with cling film. Okay, so here I'm going to start making my zesty uh, cilantro lime rice. So into a preheated pot, I'm going to add a tablespoon or so of cooking oil. And here I've pre-rinsed, just in cold water, long grain rice. This is one cup going in. And I'm going to start to brown and toast my rice. This is going to take over, I have this on a medium heat. Uh, nothing on high, you don't want to burn the rice, but this is going to take mm, 10 minutes or so. Now I'm going to add my diced onion. This is a half of a small onion or around a third cup of diced onion. Now for two cloves of minced garlic. I'm going to add one tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder. I'm going to quickly give that a mix. Everything already just smells amazing with the garlic, onion, and toasty rice. Okay. Here I have some lime zest that I just kind of peeled off of the lime and got rid of the piv, you know that white part. You want to get rid of most of that from the zest. Give that a quick mix. Now I'm going in with two cups of water, three tablespoons of fresh lime juice, at least two tablespoons works, whatever you can get from your lime, whatever lime you're zesting. Just one fresh scallion and the stem and leaves of cilantro. I'm just going to clean up here and let's see. Okay, so the rice is at like a simmering boil. I'm going to cover with a lid and I'm going to lower the heat just a little and I'm going to let this cook gently simmer with the lid on. Do not lift the lid, by the way, for 18 to 20 minutes. So the rice is almost done. It smells amazing. So the only thing I'm going to do is once it's done, I'm going to let it set with the lid on, I'm not gonna lift the lid, shut off the heat, set it aside, let it set for 10 minutes, lift the lid, fluff, and add fresh cilantro. I'll say that's optional, because you still get the cilantro flavor from what I added while it's cooking, but fresh cilantro into the mix, and it's done. Okay, it's been about 18 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna shut off the um, heat and just let it hang out for about 10 minutes. Okay, so. Here's my fresh cilantro going in. So let's lift the lid. 
Ooh. Oh yeah. Nice brick of cilantro. And the scallion. Actually, you can leave it in and just eat it. It's all good. Now add fresh cilantro. If you want to add a little more lime juice, but now just kind of fluff it up and serve. Good stuff. And this is going to be my cilantro lime rice. So I'm going to saute some fresh corn. This is going to go into my burrito bowl. Um, you could use canned corn, but I'm just cutting away the kernels from the cob. By placing a smaller bowl into a larger bowl, it's a lot easier to catch all the kernels coming off of the corn cob. Okay. In a preheated pan, I'm going to add my corn. Oops. Add some salt. going to add just a little water and let the corn simmer and cook in maybe like a third cup of water and then once that evaporates I'm going to really saute and and get some charring on it but I do want this to cook and simmer first. I'm going to crank the heat up to high and as you can see the water has pretty much evaporated at this point. I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter. I like buttery sauteed corn. And I'm gonna let this melt down and saute over a high heat for like another three to five minutes. And this will be done. This will be the corn. Okay, I've kind of quickly rinsed this pan. I'm preheating it. I'm adding a little bit of cooking oil. And I'm gonna work on my black beans, real simple. These actually came out of the freezer, so they're kind of liquidy and separated a little bit, but it'll work. So I'm gonna add my black beans. You could use canned black beans. I'm gonna add some garlic powder, onion powder, some chili powder, and ground cumin. The seasonings are up to you, some salt, cracked black pepper, and I'm going to saute these and just um, heat them through and that's it. That's going to be what I'm using for the black beans. So these are done. I'm going to shut off the heat. And all I wanted to do was just heat them through and season them a little bit more. But that's it. It's as easy as that. And you can definitely do this with canned black beans. So here I have one large onion sliced. I have a combination half of a green bell pepper and one large jalapeno that I removed the seeds and just sliced it up and one red bell pepper. I'm gonna saute this. I'm just going to uh, saute this. I added a little cooking oil into my pan. Saute for about three to five minutes and these are done. If you want them to be charred and cooked longer, you can definitely do that. I'm making a mess, but there they are, done. This is my marinated chicken breast that we did earlier. So it's time to uh, cook these. And you'll wanna make sure you remove it from the fridge, maybe like 15 to 20 minutes before you cook it to get the chill off. But this is where I want it to be. I let it set in the fridge for about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to let these cook for several minutes on each side. Depending on the thickness of your chicken breast, it, that's just going to, you know, vary with the cook time. Yeah, this one's done. So I'm going to place it on a baking sheet to rest. And I have it here resting. I'm gonna let it rest for at least 10 minutes before I slice into it. Once it's rested, I'm gonna slice into it and we're going to build these burrito bowls. Here I have my black beans that are cooked and seasoned well, 
my fresh corn that I sauteed, a saute of bell peppers, jalapeno, and onion. I have some fresh avocado and fresh diced tomato. It's gonna be good. We're gonna start with the scoop of the cilantro lime rice. And it kind of got toasty on the bottom, but it's so good. There we go. Okay, so get some of the sauteed onions, peppers, and jalapeno. You know what, I'll put it right here. And just scoop that right in there. By the way, fresh sauteed corn is so good. Here's my sliced chicken breast, and I'm just going to put that right here, just like that. Tender, marinated, juicy chicken breast. Oops, <laughs> there we go. So let's see, what else do we got? I'm trying to get, well, I have clean hands, so we'll go with some tomato here. Oh, looks so good. Here I have some fresh lime juice or fresh lime, and we're just gonna put that right there. And here is what I made today for dinner. We're gonna have chicken burrito bowls. So good. So I'm ready to try a bite. And just everything is seasoned so well. You can garnish with cheese, sour cream, your favorite salsa. Um, sometimes they do a, an avocado, like creamy sauce, it all works. Mm -hmm. Mm. So good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.